Hey guys, welcome to a new weekend vlog. Um, I didn't, I'm trying to think if I vlogged last week, I did vlog last weekend. Um, so I'm trying to kind of keep on top of posting every weekend. I did actually ask you in my last video whether you didn't mind my kind of like at homey vlogs. I haven't yet had that vlog go up so I don't know your comments. But I want to keep like being regular so even if that means kind of posting something for my weekend I will do that. So it is Saturday and the time is half four. So I've not started this vlog very well, I'm afraid. Yesterday was obviously Friday. Um, we went to a quiz with my family and Dan's family, uh, just in my parents' local village. And yeah, it was fun. Unfortunately, we lost by, like, we came second by one point, which is always really frustrating. You kind of either want to be first or last, because last place always gets a prize as well. Anyway, so that was last night, and then this morning I went round my friend Lydia's, and yeah, we had a really, really lovely morning. We just went for a stroll with um, her dog, and then she made like a really, really lovely homemade soup. And it always makes me think, why do I not make soup? Because it's just so tasty. Anyway, I've come home, um, I've done, like, just had a nice little catch up with Dan, and I've come up to the bedroom and I've just edited my last weekend vlog. So I'm feeling quite cosy. The weather is very gloomy today, so I'm just not in the mood to kind of go out. Really, I haven't done the food shop today, which I would normally do on a Saturday. Um, we have quite a routine weekend, so that's not been done. And I can't be bothered, so I'm not going to go do it. I do need to change the bed bedding however so I am going to go see Dan downstairs he's watching the new um, Breaking Bad film on Netflix I'm not into Breaking Bad so I'm happy that he's just watching that on his own but I'm going to go try and see if he'll come and help me do the bedding which I'm sure he will before I start I just wanted to have a little chat with you I don't want to wangle on too much because I know I do like to chit chat but it was Mental Health Awareness Week and I don't want to again ramble too much because I know everyone kind of talks about it a lot but I just want to kind of show that I am a normal girl. Um, I work 9 to 5, well, 9 to 5.30 every day. This is not my full-time thing at all. This is my sidey. And yeah, I'm just a normal girl. And I struggle like most people from day to day sometimes. And I've been feeling a bit down the last couple of weeks. And I don't want to... I feel like I was going to get emotional there. Must not get emotional. I don't want to hide that I feel a bit down. Oh no, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> Um, I've spoken to a few people about it, I obviously talked to Dan about it, um, and I did not know I was going to get emotional. There's no real reason for feeling down, and like anybody from the outside would think that, you know, like, I've got a lot going on that's really good for me right now, I'm obviously engaged, we're looking to get married, blah blah blah, but sometimes you do just feel a bit down, and like, that's okay, feel like I try and find a reason for it but there isn't always a reason and I think it's okay to feel down um so yeah I'm just trying to you know I don't know whether it was hormones or whether it's other stuff I really just don't know there's kind of a few things like going around in my head which I'm trying to work through but I thought I would just be honest on here because that's what I like to do and I like it if people are honest with me and yeah sometimes I feel a bit lonely and that's okay, like, yeah, anyway, I won't go into it any more detail, but I just wanted to let you know that, like, if you're feeling a bit down, it's okay, and, like, just to talk to people about it, like, I'm so lucky that I have Dan, and he is just amazing with anything, and lets me offload all the time, um, so yeah, I'm very lucky, but if you feel like you can't talk to anyone, please just go reach out to somebody, obviously there are a lot of, like, causes out there, charities and things like that, um, someone will always be there to talk to you, even if you want to send me a message if you're feeling crap, um, then please do. Anyway, I feel like that got really, really deep. It wasn't meant to get deep. I just wanted to tell you that I haven't been feeling very good, and, like, yeah, it's okay to not feel good all the time. Um, I think I need to find some ways to work through it. I need to start exercising a bit more. I just need to just try and, like, just chill out a little bit. I feel like I'm always trying to do this, like, to-do list all the time in my head, and I just need to just chill and not worry, and not think that I need to do everything all the time, and sometimes I think I care too much about things, I just need to not, I just need to chill out, hence why I'm not going to see the food shop today, because I cannot be bothered. <laughs> I'll stop rambling, hopefully there'll be enough for me to just 
film this weekend. I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Uh, but as I said, I need to do the bedding. And I do want to sort out one of my drawers. We've, I've, we've got like under the bed drawers. And my one is just filled with crap. <laughs> I looked in there the other day and I was like, I didn't even know that I had these things in here. We've been in this house over two years now. So those things must have just been in there that whole time. And I've just for some reason kept them in there. So I need to go through that. So I might just show you through that. Um, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. I'm a bit peckish, so I feel like I might have to go get some snacks. Isn't this just the best sight to see? Clean sheets. Sunday and we have come for a walk. Dan made me come out the house. Um, but yeah, it's a bit rainy, but it's nice to be out in the outside. It's very autumnal. Um, but yeah, this morning I've done the food shop and a couple of chores, but not loads of stuff. And there's a little old lady in front of us with a little cute dog, which is quite sweet. And yeah, Dan's wearing his matching anorak. Yay! <laughs> Okay, just got back from going for a walk. Dan made me a coffee. Um, and we just had lunch, which was bagels. And just finishing off some crisps whilst I'm reading my book. I don't have much energy today. Um, I just feel a bit unmotivated. If I'm continuing to be honest with you. So I'm going to read for a bit. See if I fancy doing any more cleaning or tidying later. Um, but if not, I'm just going to chill and just watch some TV and stuff it's Sunday and I guess that's what Sunday should be about sometimes. Okay have just done a bit of cleaning so just clean the bathroom um, and Dan's done some cleaning as well. Now I thought I'd just tackle this under the bed drawer because it was stressing me out. I thought I'd show you what has been under my bed. This pile on the bed. Look at all this rubbish. I don't even know what's really in here so I'm gonna go through all this now and try and get rid of stuff. Eek. Okay, so I've gone through everything. This is the stuff I want to keep, which still looks like a lot, but I am a bit of a bag hoarder, so they're just going to stay with me, and I like my bikinis. Um, I've got some rubbish in here, and then a few bits for charity, so I'm going to now try and arrange this a little bit better in the drawer. It is a bit late now. I think it's about half five-ish. Um, annoyingly, the sun has now come out, which is very frustrating because we obviously went on a walk earlier and now it looks nice. Not like the sun, but you know, it's like blue skies. So that's a bit annoying. But anyway, um, I finished up my book, the one that I've been reading. I really liked it to start with, but then I feel like it kind of went downhill a little bit. I kind of thought the whole thing was going to kind of be really funny and really hilarious, but it ended up being quite serious and a bit depressing near the end. So Anyway, that was okay. Um, I did enjoy it nonetheless. And now I've just started Lovely Bones. A lot of you on my book video said that I should definitely read that. And yeah, so I've started that. I'm now doing dinner. We've got a roast chicken dinner. Um, and I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. Um, we've also been finding doing roast a bit frustrating because whenever we do it, it just ends up smelling the whole house out, which is fine, but I just can't stand this, the cooking smell for like a few days after. Annoyingly, our kitchen is so small that you just there's no like way to shut the door or anything. There is no door, so it just all the smell kind of comes up the house. So it kind of put me off from doing roasts a bit. But Dan said, "Let's try it again." So I've kind of done a few things to combat the smell. So I'll show you downstairs. Obviously, we've got extractors on and stuff like that. I've opened the window, but obviously it's winter. It's going to get cold, so I can't do that loads. But anyway, I'll show you now. So yeah, I've got chicken in the oven there, which is nearly done. Um, I've also got potatoes on the go here, and then I've got some oil and garlic ready to go. For my potatoes, I like to use a bit of thyme and rosemary and salt and pepper. 
And then vegetables today are going to be broccoli, beans and carrots. I may actually roast the carrots today, which I wouldn't necessarily do. Sometimes I steam them. Um, I've got the Anna edit on YouTube. And then I've got my bits for gravy ready. So I use bouillon and um, the Bisto gravy powder to make gravy. And yeah, so a few ways I'm trying to combat the smell. I've taken the extractor off for now. I put half a lemon up the chicken. Um, and then the rest of the um, lemon I have grated and put the zest in a little bit of water with some lemon juice and I've left the lemon out. So then I'm going to boil this lemon like mixture once I've finished cooking. Supposedly that kind of neutralizes the smell. And then I also bought this today shopping, which is the Febreze Air Kitchen Heavy Duty Spray, which supposedly, again, yeah, eliminates odours. So I'm going to try this out after cooking and hope that it works, because it's quite pricey, so it better do a good job. Here is the finished roast, chickens under there and gravy. I got our roast the wrong way around, this one's actually mine and yeah. Mm -mm -mm. We finished dinner and it was pretty nice if I do say so myself, although I thought the Yorkshire puddings, which were Aunt Bessie's, tasted a bit like banana. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, we are now going on a bit of a random adventure. Dan fancies going to McDonald's. What do you actually want to get? That's great. Hopefully we can get a McFlurry. We had actually gone recently and done this to another local McDonald's. I mean you can't really see them very well at all right now. Um, and they'd sold out of all McFlurries so let's go see if we can track some down. Hello, can I take your order? Can I just get two Galaxy McFlurries please? Yeah, anything else? That's it, thanks. First window then, thank you. Here we go, we went for the Galaxy Sorted Caramel and it looks like they've got rid of their plastic packaging which is very good. Not the spoons though. Oh yeah, not the spoons. Go on then, give it a try. Are we choo choosing the best one, <laughs> are you? I paid for it. This is actually very nice. <laughs> not so I don't think there's something about McFlurry ice cream. Mm. It's so creamy and thick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 